in many ways, we are all students. We are all constantly being exposed to all sorts of information out in the world. And goodness knows, um, thank goodness, we don't remember it all. But there is, of course, information that we would like to remember, that we would really like to consolidate in our memory and be able to have some mastery over. Earlier, I said I would distinguish between unskilled, skilled, mastery, and virtuosity, and I'll do that now. Unskilled, of course, means that we have limited understanding, let alone um, ability to use information. Skilled typically means we know and can recognize and use information in basic ways or even advanced ways. Mastery typically means that we have, you know, close to the full depth of knowledge in a given area and that we can use it pretty flexibly. And virtuosity, at least my definition of virtuosity, is where we actually have such mastery of material that we can use it in ways that we still don't even know how we can use, meaning that we can inject elements or we even invite elements of uncertainty and kind of spontaneity into the use of that material. Here I'm thinking of great musicians, I'm thinking of great athletes where they know all the plays, they know all the moves, it's all scripted into their nervous system and they can deploy those at any time so they have real mastery. But in order to display their incredible abilities, their virtuosity, they actively invite in the X factor, the uncertainty, such that sometimes they find themselves playing their instrument or singing or performing athletically or mathematically or what have you in ways that even surprise them. And that, of course, is a lot to expect of ourselves. I think most of us would be uh, content to have skill and mastery of the things that we care about. And, you know, should we achieve virtuosity, then wonderful.